This is part four of how I helped my mother-in-law get off of her insulin shots. I'm going to start by saying I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist. My mother-in-law's diabetic numbers were off the charts, her A1C off the charts, and a couple years ago she had to move in with us because it was affecting uh, her health in a lot of uh, bad ways. <laughs> so um, I had no knowledge of diabetes. I knew that they couldn't have too, many, too much sugar, and I knew that carbs turn into sugar, so I knew they, she couldn't have too many carbs, but really, that was the extent of my knowledge about diabetes. So I did some research before she moved in with us so I could figure out you know, how to cook for her and how to prepare her meals. So uh, one of the formulas that I learned on YouTube, and I'm very sorry, I do not remember the doctor's name, where I watched this information. It was a couple years ago. I should have written it down. <laughs> but um, the formula that he gave was dividing the fiber into carbs and to have an end result of either between five and 10. If you can get better than five, that's even better. If you go past that 10, I would say, just don't even bother buying that food or preparing that food. So uh, number four, uh, uh, one of my uh, foods that we eat when we eat pasta, and I love Italian food and I love pasta, is I buy this uh, Barilla protein pasta. And um, this is not about being gluten-free. I know a lot of people are gluten-free and everything. Um, this is not gluten-free. Um, we don't have a problem with gluten in this household, though I know that some do, but um, anyway, this is what we eat. So it's the protein plus um, pasta, and it comes in a spaghetti, and it comes in a penne. I think it comes in one other kind of pasta. But anyway, the carbs in this is 38 grams. The fiber is 5 grams. This is per serving. And the protein is 10 grams. That's really good. Most pasta doesn't really have a lot of protein. So if you divide 5 fiber into 38 carb, you get just a little bit less than eight. So that's really good. That's just kind of really right down the middle. Plus you're adding the protein to it. So 10 grams of protein, that's pretty good. So that's part four of suggestions to eat healthier if you're watching your sugar levels, if you're diabetic or pre-diabetic. And I just wanna add um, that I did not take her off of insulin. Her doctor took her off of insulin. So um, that was not my choice. That was the doctor's choice. After she was eating healthier and she went in for her labs, the doctor said, you know what? You don't need to be taking insulin anymore. So that was a good thing. All right. Look forward to seeing you or you seeing me on the next video. If this is helpful to you, please subscribe. That would really help me. And if you could make a comment, that would help too. Thanks so much.